Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video, and as you can see, I got my topper for my Blade Runner original 1980s Blade Runner bottle. And I'm very happy about it, so I just thought I'd do a little update because I've had some questions about these. I also wanted to just show it off with a bit of, uh, a, bit of a close up. Um, it took eight weeks for this topper to arrive. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link down below to where I got, I got these on eBay and it took eight weeks to get here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link below to an Amazon store of the same brand of topper. Um, I really like it because it does a good job of storing the booze uh, kind of like a cork. In fact, um, well, here's a bit more information right now. So just to give you a close-up view of how this works, here's the bottle, here's the topper, and it just sort of mushes right on. Now it takes a bit of doing, but basically, there you go, on good and solid, um, and in fact, very, very secure, because I could tip this thing upside down, not a drop comes out. In fact, uh, while I was setting up the camera, uh, the bottle actually fell on its side, and I was a bit worried, but no, not a drip has come out of the thing, which is awesome. And then you just pop it back off again. I'll make sure there's any drips go back inside. Yeah. So that's that topper there. Now I'll set that guy down and I'm going to show you the packaging that it came in. I got a pack of six because I wasn't sure what color I was going to end up with. Luckily I got a brownish one which kind of matches the color of the whiskey. Uh, but they do come in pink as well and they're just all wrapped up. Now, uh, somebody was asking, well, can you uh, do anything to make this fit under the original topper that came with the bottle. Here's that topper here, you know, the one that's really, really loose. So, um, kind of. What I did is I took one of these guys and I actually cut the ribbed kind of cap. Uh, I just took a knife and made all of that as uh, cylindrical as I could. I basically took the the edge that you would use with your thumbs to pull this thing off. I took that off. Now let's just put this onto the bottle here. And I will show you the other topper does go on. I see they take a little bit of encouraging. There we go. So that's that on there. Now, can I put the original topper on there. Oh, no, you know what? <laughs> My mistake, it won't actually work. Okay, good to find that out. Gonna have to stick with the Sally Hansen on this because when it's on there, it kind of mushrooms out and it makes it very, very fat. Yeah, I had thought um, since this does now fit inside here, you could maybe make that work, but that's not gonna work. It, it does actually, like I say, it kind of it, it stretches the material when it goes onto the bottle and uh, combined, it's just not gonna work with that original topper. However, this one does work very nicely and I'm just gonna stick with this for long-term storage purposes. Let me see if I can get that on there again. Like I say, it takes a little bit of work, but once you've got it sorted out, and you can kind of actually twist it like a cork. It's, it's basically, it's a cork on the outside. There we go. That's very secure. Keeps the whiskey in pretty good condition. You know, it doesn't uh, it doesn't get exposed to the air very much, and it works. That's the topper solved. Now, a couple of other little uh, updates. The um, Chibi Glass. I've been doing a little bit of research on whiskey and I've discovered this is probably the worst possible glass you can drink whiskey out of. The reason is whiskey is supposed to be enjoyed with the nose and you're supposed to uh, sort of encourage the palate and then you take a little drink of it. And the shape of this glass is absolutely terrible for that. Uh, most um, whiskey experts actually recommend there's a Glen Cairn glass, which is kind of fluted at the top, almost looks like a champagne glass or whatever. It um, encourages the, uh, the smell to kind of funnel up and you can enjoy the aroma of it, the bouquet, before you actually have a drink of it. Um, 
this chibi glass again it was it was chosen because it was looking cool and futuristic square glasses that's what we'll be drinking out of in the future but this is actually the worst possible glass you can drink whiskey out of um, somebody also posted a question uh, I, I'm not gonna tip it up too high but there is actually a logo here of that um, Italian uh, studio that uh, releases these and until the person this was on the RPF until that person actually mentioned it I didn't even really notice it now I can see it so if you order a chibi glass uh, from the studio you are gonna get a little etched logo in the bottom not the end of the world if you ask me I think that's fine and another note from the RPF crowd uh, remember this uh, bottle for the um, for Deckard's classic uh, Johnny Walker bottle the nice thing about this is this was made in glass and there was a series of them a few years ago that were made in crystal the problem was you couldn't like the the, the booze didn't go all the way up to the edges and it was very very heavy I talked about that when I first uh, opened this thing up um, fellow on the RPF actually said that's a very bad idea to have a crystal glass for storing booze in uh, the lead content this is a crystal glass here but it's only used for drinking out of um, the lead uh, uh, quantities that are in crystal actually do seep into liquid over like days so most people who have crystal decanters and stuff they know you use it for a day or so then you wash the crystal decanter out you don't store your alcohol in it uh, the fact that this bottle is glass and not crystal is excellent because that means it's going to last a long time in here so another little update um, now uh, the final thing I wanted to give a shout out actually for a YouTube channel because I I still find this drinking like boat gas but I'm starting to understand and appreciate why some people are really into whiskey and there is an excellent Scottish whiskey reviewer um, he his actual name of his channel is Ralphie.com I'm gonna put a link down below to his channel he does videos like every week he has done multiple brands multiple price ranges and all that kind of stuff for different kinds of whiskeys if you are in any way interested in whiskey check out Ralphie.com it's R-A-L-F-Y.com as the uh, YouTube channel and he's got a website um, I really love him he's got this just adorable presentation style he actually made me laugh he did um, he did one episode it's not just whiskey I mean that's sort of his main uh, force but he also did one about um, absinthe and he was all dressed up in like this crazy I don't know uh, wizardy type of outfit and his hair was all nuts and stuff and he was just you know he thought oh ah, let's let's point at things with a magic wand and that kind of stuff like he's he he's got a lot of character um, he really knows his stuff like he goes into degradation of like the smell the presentation what 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 your palate experiences whenever you have whiskey so really recommend if you if you're in any way interested in whiskey check out ralphie.com again link down below and uh, that is the final bits of updates for me and my Blade Runner bottle very glad I got this topper very glad I got this glass cheers and we'll see you down the rabbit hole